Hello and welcome back to another tutorial in step 7. Today we're going to work on the archive and retrieve. If you've never done this before, all you have to do is open up your somatic manager, go up to file, open file, we're going to select archive first. We're going to pick one of our files to archive. We're going to go ahead and use the pointer. We're going to select OK. We'll go ahead and stick it here on the desktop. We're going to go ahead and save this as a pkzip file. The file name is pointer, which is also the project name. We're going to select save. We're not going to do this on multiple data media. I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and select OK. Now if we go ahead and minimize this, you're going to find the zip file right here. And now we're going to go ahead and go back and show you how to retrieve a file. Let's say somebody sends you a file and you bring it in on your USB or however you may bring it in. You're going to go ahead and go back to your Somatic Manager and go to File. We want to retrieve this file. It is on the desktop. It's this pointer file right here. We're going to select Open. We're going to select where we want to put it. We're going to select OK. Now it says that we already have one in there. Let's rename it and then renamed it as point one. Select OK. Now it's telling you the following objects were retrieved. Pointer, libraries none. Do you want to open these now? Yeah, let's check them out. So here we have our project. It has a somatic station, 300. We're using 315 at the Profinet. We also have the option of MPI or Profibus. We have a little small HMI station here as well. And you have all your blocks and everything in the files as it should be. And if you open her up, you'll see that everything is there, the same as it was. That's it for the tutorial for Archive and Retrieve. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, and please subscribe to stay up to date on our latest tutorials.